Tropical Storm Francine is getting better organized, forecast to strike Louisiana as a hurricane on Wednesday. Good afternoon, I'm Mike Nasal with this 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central Time video update on the tropics. And there is a beautiful satellite image of Tropical Storm Francine still dealing with dry air, but it is trying to become a hurricane and is pretty darn close. And it looks like it's going to strengthen into a potent Category 1 hurricane, maybe a Category 2 prior to landfall in Louisiana sometime on Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening. Here is the latest from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Francine. Francine was centered at 25.7 north, 95.0 west. Maximum winds still 65 miles per hour, but that pressure is down to 987 millibars, and that's about the pressure of a Category 1 hurricane. So we should see the winds respond soon enough and Francine should become a hurricane. It's moving northeast at 10. So it has started to turn to the northeast ahead of that trough over Texas, and it should make landfall between Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night, somewhere in the mid-Louisiana coastline. But all of the Louisiana coast needs to be ready for a direct strike from Francine. There's a better look at the track. Notice it was moving northwest, and then it's starting to feel that shortwave trough, and we're having that hook towards the right, and that is going to take it towards Louisiana. We do have a hurricane warning in effect from Cameron, Louisiana, all the way over to Grand Isle, Louisiana, and we now have a hurricane watch in effect for Lake Maurepas, Lake Pontchartrain, and downtown metropolitan New Orleans. New Orleans is under a hurricane watch because we continue to think that Francine could be a little bit more of an east bender there into the coast, and that could put areas like New Orleans on the right side of the landfalling hurricane. Here's the visible satellite close-up, and again, there's been dry air that's been sucked into the system for the past 24 to 48 hours, and that's really held it in check, thank goodness. Otherwise, Francine might have been cranking more over these very hot western Gulf waters. Nevertheless, notice here this burst of convection right over the center. That is a sign that the system is getting stronger. Here's the radar image, and uh, as of about quarter after five Eastern time, you're starting to see a little bit of a coiling there, maybe an eye-type feature. I don't know if this is really an eye wall, but this shows the dry air. Anywhere you have gaps in here, these are uh, gulps of dry air that Francine has taken, and that is why the system has not been strengthening. Notice the motion here clearly towards the northeast now, and again, still dealing with dry air, but it is tightening up right in there. And the center is about 135 miles due east of the mouth of the Rio Grande River in Brownsville, right on the border there. So again, Port Isabel and Padre Island, you guys still getting some rainfall, but most of uh, the heaviest rain is offshore as the tropical storm here coils right in there is the center, and it's moving now to the northeast. The rainfall will continue to move towards the northeast in the general direction of the Louisiana coastline, and we see heavy rainfall already in areas of Louisiana. So again, it's going to be very wet. We've had this large blob to the north of the tropical storm, and that's causing rainfall all the way from Cameron back over to Tallahassee, the entire Gulf Coast getting wet from Francine. Now, storm surge is going to be a major threat anytime we have a landfalling hurricane in this area of the Gulf Coast. They are very susceptible to high surge, pretty much uh, from the Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge, which is in western Louisiana, all the way over to Port Fouchon. You could have water rises 5 to 10 feet. That includes Vermilion Bay. So areas there, Marsh Island, Intercoastal City, very, very high water rises, 5 to 10 feet above tide levels, with crashing hurricane force waves on top of that, and that is not good news. Lake Pontchartrain, Lake Maurepas, downtown uh, in New Orleans, anywhere where there's water, you guys could have rises of 3 to 5 feet there. And so again, from Port Fouchon to the mouth of the Mississippi, 4, 5, 6, 7 feet. So overall, I'd stay away from the water on Wednesday and even into Thursday until we see things calm down. But anywhere where there's an onshore flow on the right side of the landfalling system, we will have the water rises. Even Mobile, Mobile Bay, 2 to 4 feet. Dauphin Island, you guys over here, you guys are going to have water rises too as Francine moves in. 
The European models continue to drag it right into the central Louisiana coastline. The GFS models are even kind of further east than that, it looks like, making landfall more in the area near uh, impacting Homa or Port Fouchon, Grand Isle. So again, I've been saying this for a couple of days. I've seen systems like this that just like to drag a little further east. So I don't think we're talking a landfall over here in Plaquemines Parish, but if you're in Terrebonne, you guys could be in for it. And remember, this is not going to be a tightly organized Category 4 hurricane. This is going to be a loose, ragged, wet, sloppy 90-mile-an-hour Cat 1 or 100-mile-an-hour Cat 2, and that's going to spread out those impacts along the Louisiana coast. Here's the official prog from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, you want to be prepared anywhere within that cone. Here, I'll show you the cone to make people happy. There's the cone, okay? But the official, I, I don't like it. I just want the line. Take away the cone. The official track takes it inland near St. Mary Parish. Franklin, Baldwin, Bayou Vista, Morgan City. You guys could be directly in the line of fire from Francine. But again, to the east, to the east, Galliano, Grand Isle, water rises. And again, like I said, there's always the potential, like the Hurricane Center said, they're on the western side of some of the guidance. And they're also on the higher side of some of the intensity. So it might be a little weaker than they're saying, but further east. Or it might be stronger and further west. We just can't tell for sure. But again, don't be surprised if it comes ashore here in areas further to the east. So again, everybody needs to be ready. A lot of these areas down here, very industrialized. A lot of uh, pipeline canal, a lot of uh, low-lying marshy area, live croaker bait shops, stuff like that. But there are still people, still Americans, and still uh, impacts from this hurricane. There's the water vapor image, and again, a lot of moisture showing up here in the Gulf Coast, but she has been sucking in dry air, and that's really what's saving us. I mean, even our other storms, Debbie uh, dealt with it a little bit, but Ernesto had a lot of dry air problems, and, you know, so we could be thankful maybe for that, that this system's not going to be a major hurricane, but it looks like it's still going to be a hurricane landfall, and there's that shortwave trough digging into Texas. See that? And then the ridging off towards the... Uh, northeast of the system and so it's going to kind of slide that way and then kind of wiggle its way towards the uh, north and northeast that's francine still some good moisture and again that rainfall is going to be an issue anywhere from lake charles to new orleans mobile but look at here we're talking four to six inches that could spread through jackson memphis all the way near cape Girardeau. you guys are going to be wet over the next couple of days from francine and there is a moderate flood risk and we will watch severe weather as well. There could be a lot of tornadoes with this system, especially if it interacts with that trough and gets the wind shear going. That's favorable for tornadic development, and so we'll watch that in areas of the Gulf Coast there. Again, wet weather now. New Orleans, Baton Rouge, you're getting in on it. As Francine pools off towards the northeast, we'll see her come into radar range and watch that very carefully. So I'm Mike Nasal with the latest update on Tropical Storm Francine. It should become a hurricane later tonight or tomorrow morning and slam into the Louisiana coastline with winds of 80, 90 to 100 miles an hour, a high-end Category 1, possibly stronger, possibly a little bit lower. We'll wait and see. It's kind of unknown at this point. What we do know is high water rises, gusty winds, crashing waves, and a lot of heavy rain coming towards our friends there in the marshy bayous of Louisiana. So I'm Mike Naso, and I'll have continuing coverage of Francine as she heads towards Louisiana.